Hey guys, welcome back to Thunderdome Homestead. So, I am doing my second test with the EcoFlow Delta Pro. The first one I did was a test to see how well it ran a fridge and a freezer over a 24 hour period without any sort of solar hooked up to it. And it went well. Um, it lasted the whole 24 hours. That being said, freezers will typically, if they're left shut, will hold their temperature for two to three days without anything thawing. So, in theory, you would only have to run your freezers for a couple hours to get back down to temp every two days or so. So that means that there's power left over for other things. And something that a lot of preppers overlook is sump pumps. Um, if you have a basement with a sump pump, when it rains, water does go into those sump pumps, depending on how every, your house and, and everything is set up. Mine is set up where other things are routed into the sump pump as well. Therefore, it is more crucial for me personally to have some sort of power set up to the sump pump unless I want to be hauling buckets. Don't want to be hauling buckets. So, let's see here. I've got a hose rigged up to a spigot down here that is running water into my sump pump. And, here we go. So, we're at five days of power, 100% with this EcoFlow Delta Pro. We're running water down into the sump pump and we're gonna see here in a second when it kicks on what it does. Uh, one moment. Okay. Oh, here it is. Just kicked on. So, it's running about 300 some watts. And with it running every couple of minutes with, mind you, a heavy flow of water entering this. So now look, it's, it's back to five days now. I am thinking with, nope, I don't know, we're looking at six. I think this thing will run a sump pump through a rainstorm long enough for you to not have to carry buckets out. That's another awesome thing that I wanted to check out with this unit because the River Mini kind of disappointed me. I'm not going to lie. And with that being said, oh, now it's running again. Uh, around 330 watts. Let's see, once it kicks off, if it goes back to six days or not, because it's still at 100% power which is pretty cool. Yep, back to six days. I bet you this thing will handle a sump pump, a fridge, and a freezer. Um, I think my next test is going to be a well pump. Uh, I want to see... Not that it necessarily matters for me personally, because as you see here, I've got the hand pump in our well so if we lose power we can just pump water by hand but plumbing and having running water is kind of nice nice hot shower uh, I don't know if this thing would handle the hot water heater but it definitely 
definitely will handle the sump pump. So, successful test. I'm happy with the results. And now I know that this thing will run a sump pump. So, yeah. Um, if you guys got anything out of this, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.